Hey there folks, got a new little cup battle for you today against Parlor 2 Pi, my good friend and repeat opponent. I've battled him a whole bunch of times, uh, but not with this team before, so he's going to lead off with his Cacnea, as I lead off with Edgar Rice, my Sand True. Uh, not going to want to stay in here, considering that he could go ahead and go for the Seed Bomb, and while I'm pretty sure I could take that, I don't want to take that, and I don't want to take that much damage this early in the battle. Um, indeed, he goes for the Seed Bomb, Blake takes that pretty well. Um, and the switch is obvious, but I didn't want to predict, so I am going to go ahead. No, I do predict. I predict I'm going to go into a water Pokemon. Um, but instead, it's, uh, it's Onyx. I'm going to have to switch out because Onyx is going to be faster. I might slap a Scarf on that thing. Um, he's going to go ahead and set up, um, Stealth Rocks. I'm going to go, uh, uh he's going to go ahead and taunt me the next turn, preventing me from setting up Stealth Rocks, but that's okay. I just go for the Rapid Spin, um, and that's fine by me. He's going to set up the Stealth Rocks again. Uh, but that's fine by me. I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake, and since I've broken his Sash with those, with that Rapid Spin, I'm able to one-hit KO that, um, uh, that Onyx, and that's great, I don't have to worry about it anymore, and at some point I can spin away, uh, the rocks that are on my side. Now is not a good time, I switch out into Lulu, expecting the Water-type move. Indeed, my opponent goes for the Surf, activates my Storm Drain, my attack, or my Special Attack, uh, goes up. My opponent's going to switch out into 64 Gigabyte, his Porygon. I'm going to just use Energy Ball. Didn't want to overpredict. Not really wanting to overpredict too much in this match. Does more than half. I'll be able to take him out the next turn. His Blizzard hits. I survive with a decent chunk of HP. Not a great amount, but a decent chunk. Uh, so his Porygon is down, but I'm not at that great of health. I'm predicting that he's going to go for the Ice Beam here, but I just decided I'm going to leave him. Lilu to die. It's done its job. Um... Out now is going to come IBM, my uh, Ponyard, and here he's going to withdraw his Ninja Star. I'm expecting that. He goes out into Baby Dino. I go for the Swords Dance, and now I'm expecting this guy to Dragon Dance because all the Bagons I've seen have been Dragon Dance sets. Instead, he goes to the Brick Break first, and I'm like, no, no, no! So now he he's taken out my Ponyard, which is such a great Pokemon. Oh well, I send out Emily, he's going to get scared and swap out into his um, Ninja Star. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Shadow Ball, it's super effective, I wasn't predicting that or anything, just with the attack that did the most damage, hit out what I expect to be a useless crit. Out is going to come his Cacnea, and here I go for the Acrobatics, boosted by Flying Jump, that is going to hit him hard, he's going to uh, take him down to his Focus Sash, I really wish I had my rocks up. He goes for the Thunder Punch. That's going to hurt and a whole lot. I'm gonna, it's going to take out my Driploon. And now I'm going to send out Ar uh, not Arcanine, I'm sorry, Growlithe. Um, but he is going to go ahead and uh, just go for the Sucker Punch. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Flare Blitz. It's going to take him out, but I'm down to 1 HP. Yeah, I just thought I could survive the Sucker Punch. And indeed I could. Just really not with very much health left. Now his Baby Dino is back out. I really have nothing I can do. He goes for the Outrage. My Steel type is dead. I can't switch it in. So I have to go and send out my Edgar Rice, my physical wall, to take those these outrages, and I just hope I can survive uh, for a decent amount of time. Indeed, I actually uh, take that hit quite well. I go for the Rapid Spin to get rid of my uh, my opponent's rocks. Um, that's great for me. He's going to switch out his Baby Dino, going to go out into Drift... Uh, he calls it Drift Blim. It's a Drift Loon. I knock off, um, just to see what item I was carrying. Uh, anyway, that actually works out well for me because now he, he had the Flame Orb, now he doesn't get the Flame Orb activation. Um, I go ahead and set up my Stealth Rocks, just leaving an Edgar Rice to die. Uh, Drift Blim is... <laughs> cracks me up. Uh, Drift Blim is going to take me out, and I'm a little bit worried about that thing's speed. Um, but, wait, no, it had, never mind. It had a Flame Charge, or Flame Boost, rather than uh, Unburden. So here he just protects to see what I was going for, but he's down to two Pokemon. This is actually my last Pokemon. But both of his Pokemon are weak to Ice Beam, and assuming I can survive a hit from this Bagon, I have won the match. Assuming that this guy is Scarf, I don't know that he's Scarf. Uh, I guess he's not Scarf or I outspeed. I take out his Baby Dino, and that is the end of the match. Crit didn't matter. Uh, great game, Poller 2 Pi. I mean, a one you took me down to 1-0. That was pretty good. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.